Continuing our discussion with Perl and uh, web and network functions, uh, I want to talk some more about Perl and arrays. Uh, there's a nice function with Perl called uh, pop, and pop is uh, removing uh, the last element of an array. Uh, so it'll, uh, it'll tell you what that last element is and actually remove it. Um, so you can see in this, this particular example, uh, we've got an array here, array of names, foobar and baz, and um, the pomp is going to remove the last element um, and, and, re and return it. So if you were to say my uh, last element equals, and you can say pomp array name, that last element is the last element in the array, and your array is now short that last element. So that's pop. Pushing an array uh, is a way to add a, a value onto an array. So you can push uh, the array name and then the item. So in this example, I've got an array of names. I've got foo and bar. I want to add the name moo. So I'm going to push on the array name moo. And my new array is now foo, bar, and moo. Shifting an array is is imagining an array, um, and and if you imagine the array starting at the left side, the shift function is going to move the whole array um, one unit to the left. So the the first element falls off the array. So if you can sort of think of the shift as the opposite of pop. So instead of returning and removing the last element, um, shift is going to return and remove the first element by shifting the entire array to the left. So in this example, I've got an array of names, foo, bar, and moo. Um, I'm going to shift the names so the first element now is that return of the shift, which was foo. My new array now just becomes bar and moo. Um, unshift is where um, you're going to do the opposite of shift. So you're gonna you're gonna move everything uh, to the right. Um, if you give it a value, that new value is going to be the new value inserted all the way on the left. Uh, otherwise, it would be a, a, a zero. So in this example, uh, again, I've got a, an array of names, foo and bar. I'm going to unshift, which is going to scoot everything to the right. And I've also asked it to insert the, the name moo in front of it. So now my new array becomes moo foo bar. Uh, in the exact same example, I've got um, Darth Vader, and what you can do is you can unshift and you can insert other names into it, or you can use a, a second array to, um, to unshift into that array. So that's, again, pop, push, shift, and unshift. Again, I want to talk about uh, uh, working with hashes in Perl. So a hash is, again, it's a key and value structure. Uh, we use the percent sign to designate a hash in Perl. So in this example, I'm saying, I'm making a new hash here, percent hash, and I'm saying my, my key is A and my value is one. Uh, I also have a key of B and a value of two, a key of C and a value of three. If I wanna see the keys, you can just say keys and then the hash name. Um, you can actually put the hat result into an array. So I make a new array called the keys, which are the keys of the hash, and I can say a new array of the values, which are values of the hash. Um, you can also do things like uh, 4x in list. So 4x for key in the keys of the hash, um, print the key, which in this case would be um, A, B, and C.
Um, if you want to get uh, how many elements are in the the hash or or what the size of your hash is, uh, really what you can do is get um, the keys out of the hash and give it a scalar value. So what you can do is, is something as simple as saying the size of your hash is equal to the keys of your hash. Um, so that's a, a really nice shortcut for getting um, the length or number of elements in your hash. Um, split is is a very handy uh, Perl or a command that we can use um, in what the the syntax is is just the the command split um, then the regex portion or regular expression of what you're looking for and then what you're actually splitting up so what you can do is say um, so in this example, I've got um, a string here, and you can see I've got, uh, uh, it looks like it's a, a line right out of uh, Etsy password. So I've got a user ID, um, the home directory, the default shell, that sort of thing. Uh, so what I can do is I can set up some values, you know, username, password, UID, group ID, real name, home, default shell. And I can say, I'm going to split that line. And my regex is just the, um, the colon. So in, you could say, um, you could split with a, a tab or you could split with a comma. Um, that's the nice thing is, again, you can use any regular expression to, to search for and split up that line. Um, Another nice uh, um, uh, tool you can use in Perl is the idea of a um, string and a string index. So what you can do is um, you can ask for the position of something in a string or what the index value is within a string, just like you would use an index in an array. So by saying index, the string that I'm looking for and the, the the string that I'm looking within and the substring I'm looking for, it will return that that index position. So for example, I have a string called uh, pearlmeme.org. If I'm looking for the substring of just the character M, uh, I want to know what position that falls in. You can see the result here is actually four because we start at index zero, which is P, one, E, two, R, three, L, and then the first M that it found was at position four. So this is, um, again, uh, looking for where a particular substring is within a string. You can also use this idea of a substring. <laughs> so with substring, um, it's going to return the substring when you're looking at uh, a string, but you can also give it uh, a starting length or a starting offset and then a overall length of what you want to return. So in this example, I've got a string here called server type, and that server type is Microsoft IIS slash 7.5. I'm looking for um, the substring, and I'm looking in that string of server type. I'm starting at index zero, and I'm going all the way up to the position of the slash so that position of the slash what it's going to do is essentially give me the substring starting from zero all the way up to the index value of where that slash lies so what it will do is it'll give me the substring of just Microsoft dash IIS 
Uh, Pearl, there's a couple ways uh, or a couple things that you should know about sorting. Um, you can sort two variables numerically. So if I've got an array um, called unsorted and I want that to be sorted numerically, uh, you could just say your new sorted array equals sort and then whatever two variables that you want sorted numerically. Um, if you want it alphabetically, you can use CMP. So these are just a couple of syntaxes for uh, sorting or, or getting the sorted results of an unsorted array. Um, you can just add reverse to that also too if you want it um, reverse sorted either uh, numerically or alphabetically. So sort and reverse sort. Um, here is an interesting um, uh, shortcut. I, I don't know if it's much of a shortcut, but let's say we want to sort uh, according to a certain word, according to the frequency of that word in your array. So you could do a for each uh, my string reverse sort uh, a numeric count comparison and then give each of the keys of that hash. So <laughs> it's it's kind of a, a, a long um, function, but for each of those and then actually print that word that you're sorting and the count, the number of, of, of words that are in that um, uh, uh, hash and or and or array. Uh, this will make more sense, I hope, when we go over and start working on the lab a little bit. Um, buffering, again, this is just a, 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 by default, Perl has what's called a buffered output, so it's not updating the screen. If you're writing the script, and in this case we want to, um, in this lab we're going to be doing a, a little working uh, display, so it'll show you what um, what line your 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 lab is working on, so you know that it's doing something. You can change your um, default Perl from buffered to unbuffered, where it'll immediately display uh, on the screen. And the way to do that is to to use this uh, special special form uh, string pipe equals one, and that'll change um, to an unbuffered Perl display.